Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Guys, let's talk about Yenfei really quickly here. So what's the verdict? Is she good? Is she bad? I do have Yenfei in my actual account here, but she's not quite as leveled as she is while we're testing. And of course, her artifacts are better here too. Does not have any constellations. And her weapon is the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Wind. So anything you see in this video, there's a 5 star weapon, 5 star artifacts, and no constellation though. And these are her stats. So just keep that in mind while we're doing uh, the test run here. Anyways, so what's gonna happen is we're just gonna go over what I like about her, what I think is good, and the reason why she may be good um, other than using other characters. Other four star characters such as I don't know Zhang Ling, uh, maybe Fischl, uh, and others like that. Um, anyways, she is actually pretty powerful if you know how to use her. For example, here you guys can see she did 22k. If she just does normal attacks, she won't really do much um, until she gets three Scarlet uh, Seals that will do damage. And She's all about her charge attacks, so if you don't charge attack, you don't ult, um, you're not going to do much damage. So make sure to ult first and then attack, because it gives a 40% damage buff, I think. At least that's what I think. But as you can see, if you have low stamina and no constellation on her, she is very lackluster. The only thing she may do is some good damage. Other than that, she's squishy. She has no shield, um, that's if you're playing, you know, without any shield characters. She does good damage, but that's, let's say we, you remove the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Wind. You get rid of 30% crit rate, get rid of all the elemental damage bonus stacks, and um, she's not, she's not going to be that great. Um, her talents are all 888 here, but thing to, like, really think about here is her final talent um if she crits she's gonna do aoe pyro damage equal to 80 percent of her attack and that's that's a significant amount like 80 percent of the attack that's a lot so if you consider all of that into this character she's okay um her stamina cost with without constellation is terrible uh because you you always have to just use charge attacks over and over and over and over again kind of nice if you do get her constellation up other than that she's an okay character i think they could have done a better job with her in terms of balance other than that she's really strong really good the reason why she'll be amazing is because of the abyss so what the abyss has in like right now is charged attacks and normal attacks are really good because of cooldowns so in the abyss right now the cooldowns are slowed because of something called slowing water and what that does is kind of makes your cooldowns longer because of that your switch comps or your normal comps that you have that you just switch out characters and stuff you use their E abilities, you use your Q abilities, are not as good as doing normal charge attacks just because of that cooldown. So, I mean, that's something to think about. Other than that, I think she's an okay character. She's good for damage, but that's about it for her. I, fe I feel like there is a lot to be figured out using her. She's still new. I feel like we still need to figure out her best team's intricacies. She is quite like Ning Wang. Uh, just because of her, you know, normal attacks and then her E. Um, just the way she plays is sort of like Ningguang. And Ningguang is a really strong character. Really powerful. Really good for your team. Um, the only problem with Ningguang is she does not have any elemental resonance. Uh, not resonance, but the elemental reactions rather. And that's the only thing bringing her down. She has strong damage, you know? A lot of geo damage. Uh, but yeah, that's about that. What I think about her... Yanfei is good for the Abyss. That's what I think right now. She's only good for the Abyss. 
other than that i would still use jangling over her other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you got something out of it yanfei is good but only for the abyss if you guys want to clear the abyss in well this abyss the new abyss she's pretty good uh, other than that i don't think she's the best in terms of just reactions in your team uh, how she is synerg how she synergizes in your team so other than that i like her as a character she's fun uh, she's very fun to play i like how she plays very flowy you know e charge attack q charge attack but without her constellations i feel like she's very lackluster anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it if you did can you subscribe to my channel uh, like this video as well if you got anything out of it and see you guys in the next video goodbye